precious metals are produced from both primary and secondary sources. Primary sources are mining activities, and these take a variety of forms. Hard rock, underground mining, open pit mining, and dredging in the ocean, lakes, rivers, and streams. Secondary sources refer to materials coming from recycled scrap, dental scrap, jewelry scrap, electronic scrap, spent sputtering targets, spent auto exhaust catalyst, spent petroleum refining catalyst, and many others. Precious metals from primary or mining sources evoke images of the American prospectors panning for gold flake and small nuggets in riverbeds. Ancient cultures occasionally found gold and silver nuggets in riverbeds also. These were washed down from the hills and outcroppings of metal near the surface. These lustrous and ductile metals were sought after throughout the centuries by almost all cultures for ornamental jewelry, artwork, and eventually finding a place as monetary currency. But the majority of precious metals are mined from mineral deposits where they are found mixed with other metals and minerals. These deposits are called ore. The ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans all developed underground mining operations more than 2,000 years ago. Many of these mines, especially in Eastern Europe, Greece, Turkey, and other Middle Eastern countries, are still economically viable and in production today. Ores are concentrated in veins which were formed millions of years ago deep under the Earth's surface. These veins were formed from hot water rising from hot magma. The metals slowly precipitated out along these complex veins following numerous paths. Platinum group metals include palladium and rhodium which are frequently found in conjunction with nickel deposits. The Norilsk operation in eastern Russia is one example and the palladium nickel deposits in northern Ontario, Canada are another. Palladium ore can be seen here in these core samples. Worldwide palladium and rhodium mining annually yield approximately 6 million and 1 million ounces globally. Different parts of the world have different geological deposits. For example, the platinum group metals are primarily found in appreciable concentrations only in South Africa, about 70 percent of the world's supply, Russia, about 20% of the world's supply, and in a very few locations in North America, about 10% of the world's supply. Platinum is rare and the concentrations are very low. Typical platinum concentration in raw ore ranges from 6 grams to as little as 2.5 grams per ton of rock. Global mining yields approximately 6 million ounces of platinum each year. Gold and silver, on the other hand, are significantly more abundant than platinum with approximately 70 million ounces of gold and 700 million ounces of silver mined each year. They also have areas of higher concentration around the world. For example, the highest concentrations of gold and silver found in North and South America are on both sides of the mountain ranges that run the length of these regions, the Sierra Nevada in North America and the Andes in South America. Gold and silver are almost universally found in conjunction with copper deposits. Virtually all copper mines will also have side streams of gold and silver production which help their bottom line. Here are some examples of what gold and silver ore looks like. Silver will mostly look less metallic as its surface will be darker and tarnished. These SEM images show examples of gold and silver trapped in the surrounding rock. The eventual crushing and grinding of this ore will liberate the metal particles for eventual separation. Currently, over 70% of primary silver is produced as a byproduct from gold, copper, lead, and zinc mining operations, with less than 30% from primary silver mines. Part 2 of this video series on precious metals will focus on the exploration of precious metal ores. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and appreciation of precious metals technology and business. IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.